everybody, this is Tip Guru one and today I'm going to give you a few tips on guitaring. I've been playing guitar for about 10 years um, in quite a lot of styles, metal um, and whatnot. Uh, I haven't got my amp on and you probably notice I'm wearing the same clothes that I've been wearing in the other videos. This doesn't mean that I'm lazy and uh, I don't change my clothes very often, um, which you probably should. Um, but <laughs> But it just means I've done them all in one night, so I've just been busy. Um, this is my very first electric guitar. It's seen better days. Um, it's falling to bits. I haven't got the amp in, as you can see here, because it's currently 11 o'clock at night. And I don't think the next door neighbours would be pleased if I stopped playing very loud. Today I'm going to teach you some really, really basic stuff. Um, I'm not going to stay on the basic stuff because there's a lot of things that I couldn't learn without the help of my instructor. A shout out there to Philip Crew, who um, teaches in the Stoke area. Um, he was fantastic and he taught me how to play a lot of the stuff. Um, so if you're looking for you know a show off video, tapping, all that rubbish, you're not going to get it in this one. Click a few higher when I've done a few more and you'll get that. Today we're going to do some some basic strumming, how to get the patterns going um, and we're going to do some finger picking. Now the finger picking is important because you might think you know finger picking but actually my finger picking is a little bit different to yours or maybe it's a little bit different to yours. It's also going to be easier to learn if you haven't ever done finger picking before. Okay, so I'm going to start with finger picking. Finger picking is basically using your left hand, I'll bring it up so you can see it, to, to pick with your fingers rather than just a basic strum all the way down or a basic pluck all and all. What you're doing is you're plucking them with your fingers. Obviously there's, there's no amp in so you can't hear it. You may be able to hear it ever so slightly. But what you can see is I'm plucking the strings with my fingers. Now the tips to this, I'll show you up close so you can see what's happening as such. You see I'm picking my the fingers with the thing, right? The trick is with this is it's all in your little finger. What your plan is, is if you can see this point here, just underneath the pickup. If you don't have a pickup and you have an acoustic guitar, it's just at the edge here next to the to the resonation hole. Your little finger needs to stay there, allowing these three fingers to be able to sit very nicely on the last three strings, the G, B and the E, them three. You should be able to have your little finger on the board here and pluck them at the same time. That's where you know your little finger's in the right place. Okay, I'll show you from the side. You can see my little finger's on the plate and I'm plucking these three here at the same time. Okay? Now what you need to do is to pluck the top string with your thumb, your first finger, your second finger, your third finger. Yeah? And then what you're going to do is you're going to pluck again with your thumb. Then what you, once you've got that kind of pattern, what you want to do is you want to, to mess it up a bit. So using your thumb to change the bass strings between the E, the bottom E, and, and the A. So then move the finger to the A, then back to the top, back to the A, and you get used to doing that. Then you can mess about with different style of finger picking like um, instead of just doing the basic down you could do first, second, first, second, third. So you get Okay. Then when you think you've got that mastered, 
you can start adding chords, you know, like A minor, which I'm doing here, if you can see it. You can add some picking to that. Okay, so you can do things like that. Um, obviously, I'd start with not playing chords and, and whatnot, because when learning, it's important to focus on each distinctive part. If you're doing this hand, you want to be doing the motions that you're going to be doing on on this hand without this hand because you've got to get used to doing the hammer-ons and whatnot with with that hand without doing this one so if you're working constantly on this one you're going to get it back together now you've got to remember that if you haven't done finger picking before you're only going to be used to using the plectrum so your hands are only going to be used to going like that, whereas this hand has probably played a bit, so it's going to be advanced, so this hand is moving faster than this one. That's not going to work, you're going to have to start to build this hand up, so these can be at the same speed. Picking. Okay, you know, down, up, most of you do. Um, I'm going to go into later on in later videos, I'm going to go to mal picking, um, which is a lot faster, I'm going to go into triplets, um, stuff like that but good tip on picking is most people think that when you pick you've got to go all the way down and all the way up it doesn't really work like that it's all the way down but when you're coming back up again it doesn't matter if you miss the bottom string it doesn't matter if you don't get all the way up to the top you don't want to be sitting there going all the time it's just it's monotonous it's it's not very good so you just want to get like a feel to it you know like a You get like a, you, you're not you're not sitting there. You don't want to be a robot player. You don't want to be somebody who's just. Uh, I will comply. You want to. You want to put a bit of feeling into it. You know? you get a bit of a swing to it, more not. We're gonna do swing, blues, jazz, all that rubbish later on. Um, so this is my first video on playing guitar. Um, I do advise if you are starting out playing guitar, you buy yourself a nylon string acoustic or a metal string acoustic because these things hurt your fingers if you're new and if you buy yourself a very expensive electric guitar like a Gibson or something crazy, um, you're going to just be a waste of money because you're just going to either not want to do it because your fingers hurt or you're going to do too much and you're just going to hate it. This is a Encore guitar, which was the first one I ever bought, and it's pretty good, um, pretty cheap too. So, there you go, that's some tips, that's some advice. If you want to see anything special uh, on guitaring, sweet picking, uh, arpeggio harmonics, tapping, things like that, if you post down here, I will add it to my list of videos, and I will definitely do a little video on it. Uh, if you're struggling with something like I was, which was harmonic, um, minors between two guitars, working in sync with two guitars, doing harmony playing. Uh, I can do a video on that, I'm sure my friend would uh, sit in and we could do a little video on that. Alright, thank you.